Imagine a weapon that can hit a target from another country and vanish before anyone knows it was there. This is real. It's not science fiction. Hidden inside Israel's military is a rocket system designed to do exactly that. It's called the PULS, and it's changing the meaning of power on the modern battlefield. Most people have heard of Israel's Iron Dome. It's famous for knocking enemy rockets out of the sky. But while everyone was watching this brilliant shield, Israel was quietly building a powerful hidden sword. This is the story of that sword. Today, we're going to understand how it works, why it's so feared, and what it tells us about the future of war. This is about a new kind of warfare, one fought with brains, not just brute force. So, what exactly is the Pulse? The name stands for Precise and Universal Launching System. That's a complicated way of saying it's a rocket truck that can do almost any job in any weather with incredible accuracy. It was built by a company called Elbit Systems. Think of it less like a traditional cannon and more like a mobile command center that unleashes guided firepower. It's usually mounted on a heavy-duty truck, the kind that can drive through sand, mud, or broken cities. This isn't a weapon that stays in one place. It's built to move. The big idea behind the Pulse is actually very simple. In the past, big rocket launchers had two major problems. First, they took a long time to set up. Soldiers might need hours to get everything ready to fire. Second, after they fired, they were sitting ducks. Their giant smoke plume was like a signal saying, here I am, shoot back. The Pulse was designed to fix both of these problems. It's built for what the military calls shoot and scoot. It can fire its entire load of rockets in less than a minute, and then immediately drive away at high speed. By the time the enemy's rockets land where the Pulse was, the Pulse is already miles away, safe and reloading. The simple idea, fire fast and move faster, makes it one of the most survivable weapons on the battlefield. Now, let's talk about the most clever part of the system, its pods. On the back of the truck, there are two large containers called pods. These are not permanent. They can be taken off and swapped for different ones. This is the universal part of its name. It's like a toolbox where you can switch between a wrench, a hammer, or a screwdriver, depending on what you need to fix. For example, let's say there's an enemy command post just 20 kilometers away, tucked behind a hill. The army needs to take it out with a very precise rocket to avoid hurting anyone else. For this, they would use a pod filled with Acular rockets. These are like the sniper rifles of the rocket world, incredibly accurate. But what if the threat is different? Imagine an enemy armored column, a group of tanks and trucks, gathering 100 kilometers away. For this, you need more power and a bigger boom. The Pulse can switch to a pod holding extra rockets. These have a longer range and a heavier warhead, perfect for breaking up a formation of vehicles. Now for the really long-range jobs, what if a critical target, like a weapons factory or a senior official's headquarters, is sitting 300 kilometers inside enemy territory? That's like hitting a specific building in a city that's a five-hour drive away. For this, the Pulse can be loaded with its longest-range weapon, the Predator Hawk missile. This turns the truck from a tactical weapon into a strategic one, capable of striking deep into another country. The amazing thing is that switching between these different missions, from a nearby sniper to a long-range assassin, takes just a few minutes. This flexibility is a commander's dream. But how does it actually hit these targets so accurately? This is where the brain of the Pulse comes in. This isn't a dumb weapon that just points in a general direction and hopes for the best. Every rocket it fires is guided. The truck itself is connected to a world of information. It uses GPS satellites to know its own exact location and the target's exact location down to the meter. Its onboard computer is a fire control system that calculates everything, the wind, the temperature, even the rotation of the Earth. It makes thousands of calculations in a second to ensure the rocket flies the perfect path. Before the crew even presses the fire button, the system is ready. The truck automatically levels itself, even on a slope, so the launch platform is perfectly flat. The crew, safe in an armored cabin, simply selects the target on a digital touchscreen. The computer does the rest, aiming the launcher pods. 
When they fire, each rocket is already programmed with its destination. It's the difference between throwing a rock and guiding a homing pigeon. This precision means that if you want to destroy a single room in a building, you can do it, dramatically reducing what the military calls collateral damage, the accidental harm to people and property nearby. In today's complicated wars, that precision is as important as the explosion itself. Let's put it all together in a real-world scenario. Picture a quiet night. A convoy of three pulse trucks are moving through the desert, their lights off using night vision. They get a signal from headquarters. A drone has spotted a group of enemy leaders meeting in a small, specific building in a distant city. This is the time-sensitive target. They have a narrow window to strike. The convoy commander gets the order. The three trucks quickly find a hiding spot off the road. They don't need a prepared launch site. Any flat piece of ground will do. In less than a minute, their hydraulic legs stabilize the vehicles. The crews inside the cabs are looking at their screens, which are showing a live video feed from the drone circling high above the target. They confirm the building. The fire control computers talk to each other, coordinating the attack for maximum effect. With a series of deep, roaring whooshes, a volley of long-range Predator Hawk missiles launch into the night sky. The entire firing sequence is over in seconds. Immediately, the launcher pods are lowered, the hydraulic legs retract, and the three trucks speed off in different directions, disappearing back into the darkness. Ten minutes later, the missiles arrive at their target, striking the building with devastating accuracy. By the time the enemy realizes what has happened and tries to fire rockets back at the launch location, the pulse trucks are long gone, already planning their next move. This is the ghost-like effect that makes the system so effective and so feared. Because of this incredible capability, the Pulse isn't just a secret weapon for Israel anymore, it's becoming a major export. Countries in Europe, like Denmark and the Netherlands, have looked at their own old artillery and decided they need something smarter and more adaptable. They are now buying the Pulse system. Why? Because it fits perfectly with how modern armies, especially NATO, want to fight. It's not just about the hardware, it's about the information. The Pulse can plug directly into NATO's communication and targeting networks. It can share data with American drones, German satellites, and French command centers. This means a Danish Pulse unit could receive a target from a Dutch drone and fire on it without any confusion. This seamless connection is a huge force multiplier. For Israel, every sale is not just a business deal. It's a way to build stronger military and political ties around the world. It proves that their technology is on the cutting edge. The Pulse was born from experience, not just from a drawing board. Israel is a small country surrounded by potential threats. It has fought many wars and understands the chaos of the battlefield. The engineers who designed the Pulse built it with this chaos in mind. They knew enemies would try to jam GPS signals, so they made it hardened, meaning its electronics are protected. It has backup systems to guide its rockets even if it can't see the GPS satellites. They also knew that weapons have to be simple to use and easy to maintain. A complex weapon that breaks down is useless. The Pulse was designed so that a small crew of two or three soldiers can operate it with just a few weeks of training. Its modular pods mean that reloading is as simple as using a forklift to take off an empty pod and put on a full one. This focus on reliability and ease of use means that even a smaller country's army can use it effectively, making it a very attractive product on the global market. Now let's look ahead. What does the future hold for this kind of weapon? The company that builds it, Elbit Systems, is not standing still. They are already working on the next generation of Pulse. They are experimenting with artificial intelligence, or AI. Imagine a future where the Pulse's computer doesn't just wait for orders. It analyzes data from drones, satellites, and radar feeds by itself. It could identify a potential threat, suggest it to the human commander, and even prepare a firing solution automatically. They are also looking at swarm technology. Imagine a situation where five Pulse trucks are spread over a hundred miles. An AI system could coordinate them all as one single unit. It could decide which truck is in the best position to fire, which one has the right type of rocket, and how they can all fire together to overwhelm an enemy's defenses in a way that's impossible to stop. This is the future of networked warfare. 
The range will also get longer. Researchers are working on new rocket motors and fuels that could push the strike distance beyond 400 kilometers. They are also designing new warheads, the explosive part of the rocket, that are smarter. Some might be designed to knock out electronic systems without a big blast. Others might be able to strike moving targets, like tanks on a road. The Pulse platform is designed to grow and adapt to these new technologies. It is truly the artillery of tomorrow, being used today. So what does the Pulse rocket system really tell us? It tells us that the old way of war, throwing thousands of shells and hoping some hit, is over. The new way is about intelligence, speed, and precision. It's about hitting exactly what you want, when you want, from a place where the enemy can't hit you back. For Israel, the Pulse is more than just a weapon. It is a silent guardian, a long arm that can protect its borders by striking